friends. Today is April 26th, I believe, already. I can't believe it's the end of April. And it's Thursday, and this is my two-week grocery haul for the end of April. And this is everything I picked up from Walmart. It's not as big of a haul as I have done in the past, but I didn't need as much. So there we go. So let's get started over here. Um, I picked up some of this hair mask. I've been wanting to try it. And this is for color treated hair. And so I'm gonna give it a try and see if I like how it works on my hair, makes it soft. And I had seen these in a haul, another person's haul, a couple of months ago, and our Walmart finally got them. And believe it or not, these are fake, fake herbs. This is rosemary and this is oregano, and they were only $1.98 a piece, and I thought they were super cute, and I will use those in my summer decor somehow. I picked up some more instant dry uh, fingernail polish. I really like this stuff because it really does dry super fast. Uh, the only complaint is that it peels off pretty quickly too, so you have to repaint your nails every two or three days. And this is Pepe Le Fuchsia. And this color, this color is called In a Flash. And then I picked up some lipstick, and I'm currently wearing this. I put it on in the car, so you'll see it at the end of the video, what it looks like on me. <laughs> and I'm not really sure I love it. So um, I may be giving it to Olivia if I decide I don't like it. You guys can give me your opinion. Whoops, dropped something. So you can give me your opinion on this, whether you think it looks good on me or not. And then Olivia picked out this color, and this looks really good on her. This is called Wicked Pink. I decided if I don't like, if I decide I don't like this, I'm just going to give it to. Olivia. I picked up some cough drops. Olivia's been having some sore throats. It's the time of the year with the allergies and everything. It's really been getting our whole family down. Picked up some more gum. I like to chew gum. Uh, Scott needed some more toothpaste, so I picked him up some toothpaste. Travis needed some more face wipes. This is how he washes his face at night before bed. Um, I picked up some more shower gel. They've got a lot of fun scents out right now, and I just thought this smelled really good. So I picked that up. I picked up some more peroxide. This is what I use to clean my fruits and vegetables. I add it to water. Um, and it's that time of year again. Once or twice a year in the spring and summer, I wax my legs, and then they stay smooth a lot longer. And in between waxings, no. I will um, shave them, but it cuts down on the shaving. So I do that once or twice a year, or in the spring and in the summer. Um, probiotics, Scott needed that. Oh, and back to the leg shaving. I, probably all of you women do the same thing, especially if you live in a cold climate, but uh, fall and winter time is a no leg shaving season. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't worry about it so much in the fall and winter, but Spring and summer, I do try to keep my legs smooth. I picked up some more uh, cereal for the family, some honey crunch and oats, Cascadian Farms Organic Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and any Annie's Organic Chocolate Bunnies. Picked up some more popcorn. We do eat a lot of popcorn. Um, usually on Sunday evenings, we'll have some popcorn. Got two bags of the organic dark chocolate chips. Picked up some of these Lara bars. Um, I picked ate one in the car, and these are really good. These are really really tasty. It's a beautiful day. You can hear my husband just started his motorcycle. He always takes it for a ride on these beautiful days. Um, some whole wheat penne. And some whole wheat rotini just for the pantry. Some prune juice for Scott. Some coffee for the guys. I like to keep an extra can on hand. 
um, some ragu pizza sauce. I'm thinking about maybe making some homemade pizza. I don't know, this weekend or next weekend, I don't know. Um, Olivia wanted to get some soups for lunches, so she picked out this savory beef barley vegetable and beef pot roast. Ever since she's had to give up dairy, she has really understood what it's been like for me for the last 15 years um, in trying to find things that you can eat that don't have dairy added. So I picked up some two cans of the beefy mushroom soup and two cans of the golden mushroom soup. Those are for, just for cooking, I like to keep them in the pantry. Picked up two cans of this manwich sauce. Um, it's not the healthiest thing in the whole wide world, but we're gonna have Sloppy Joe's one time next week for dinner. Maybe tomorrow, actually, I haven't decided yet. I got four cans of organic corn and four cans of organic uh, green beans. My pantry, my canned goods was really getting low, so I had to stock up. Picked up some of this soy sauce with the less sodium, this for recipes, some Miracle Whip with olive oil, this is our favorite. And I got some more of my individually wrapped prunes. I know this is not the cheapest way you can buy prunes, but these are just so convenient um, because if you've ever dealt with prunes that are all in, you know, not individually wrapped, they get sticky and they stick together and they're, ugh, it's just a mess. So having them individually wrapped is basically just a convenience thing, and I'm willing to pay the extra money for the convenience. Picked up some chow mein noodles. We're going to have some sort of um, Chinese food at some point for dinners. Um, this is the tea Olivia decided to choose this time. She said it might be gross, but hey, she wanted to try it. And I've heard dandelion root is really good for you, so we'll give that a try. Picked up two mangoes just for eating, two packages of organic blueberries for my breakfast, some of these little glory tomatoes. These are so good. I got some Napa cabbage. I'm actually going to treat this like lettuce for tacos and things. Um, ever since we've had that lettuce recall again, I decided I'm not buying lettuce out of the store anymore, and I'm just going to wait until we have it in our garden, and that's just what I'm going to do. Um, some avocados. I got two of these three pound packages of ground turkey. Three of my silk almond creamers for my coffee. Two of the unsweetened silk cashew milk. For me, Olivia prefers almond milk, so we got her some of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I got six of my dairy free yogurts for breakfasts. Got two bunches of organic bananas, some buns for when we have um, sloppy joes, some dog food just to keep on hand in case we need it, two of these light English muffins. These make really good breakfasts and lunches. And then the last thing I got from Walmart, no, not quite the last thing, but um, I picked up some of this bubbly. Last time I got the strawberry and it was really, really good. And this time, of course, I needed to try the mango because mango is my favorite fruit. And then the last thing I got from Walmart was a big thing of Kingsford. Um, it is that time of year. Yay, finally, for cooking out. And so we needed some more charcoal. That is what I picked up from Walmart. I'll get this put away and I'll show you what I got from Aldi. So this is everything I picked up at Aldi. I picked up some of this great white organic bread for Scott. And then I got some of this oat bran bread. Olivia picked that out for her. Four packages of everything bagels for the guys. I got some of these sandwich skinnies for me. Two packages of flour tortillas. Travis likes to eat these with uh, chicken strips for wraps and then also for tacos. Um, they did not have any of the tortilla chips that we always buy. I don't know why. There was not one single bag. So I was planning on having nachos um, at some point the, in the next two weeks. So I picked up corn chips and then these nacho flavored chips to go um, 
with that. And then they all, the only other kind of tortilla chips they had were these multi-grain. So I think between all of those, we'll be able to figure, you know, work it out. Get two of these baked barbecue chips. These are mainly for me because I'm trying to eat lower calorie foods. Picked up some French vanilla coffee for me. These uh, granola bars are for Scott to take in his lunch box for snacks during the day. These are the protein, peanut, dark, chocolate, and almond, and then the sweet and salty. Uh, basically, they're the same, peanut, almonds, and dark chocolate. <laughs> Two half gallons of organic milk for Travis. Some organic shells and cheese for Travis. Some turkey pepperoni for Olivia to make her own cheeseless pizza if she wants to. They had organic potatoes at Aldi's this time, so I ended up getting two bags of those. And they had organic tomatoes, so I picked up some of those as well. Got some organic cane sugar, some 100% pure maple syrup, two jars of organic marinara sauce. We finally used the last of my home canned spaghetti sauce, so I had to buy some this time. Two jugs of tomato juice for Scott. Some um, olive oil, we always keep this on hand. Some of this hot salsa, I tried this, um, oh, a month or so ago and I really liked it, so I picked up some more of that. Some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce because we're going to have pulled pork one night for dinner. And that's why I picked up this pork loin. It's $1.89 a pound. It was almost six pounds, so $11. Two cans of organic black beans. A pound of ham for lunch meat for lunches. And Scott really appreciated and enjoyed the roast beef I got for him last time, so I got him some more of that. And we got one bag of pizza snacks this time because Olivia can't eat them now, so those are just for Travis. Olivia picked out this honey barbecue chicken wings for her lunches. We got two bags of crispy chicken strips. These are for our dinner tonight. Um, I got three things of coffee creamer because they the boys went through it this time, so two wasn't enough. I got one Italian sweet cream and two of the French vanilla plus two jugs of half and half. I uh, got some mozzarella cheese for homemade pizza, cheese slices for sandwiches, two bags of frozen organic strawberries for smoothies, um, some frozen peas and frozen broccoli. Um, now Olivia can't do cheese anymore, so she had said something about she wasn't going to be able to choose her cheese of the month or that every time we go grocery shopping like she had been doing and her dad was like oh man I enjoyed trying all those new cheeses too so we went ahead and decided to just pick out some cheese for Scott to try and so Olivia picked this brie two boxes of egg rolls one's for Olivia's for lunches and one is for um, when we have Chinese food Two boxes of frozen potato and onion pierogies. These were for, for a side dish for a dinner one night. I got some more of these raspberry Joppa cakes. These are really good. They're not very fattening and they make a nice little sweet treat. I picked up two bags of these garden medley vegetables frozen. These are the french fries we're going to have with dinner tonight. I got two packages of these turkey smoked sausage with jalapeno. These are really, really good, and there's no dairy in them. I got some paper towels, some paper plates, and some napkins. Um, this is a pizza for Travis for lunch at one time, or for lunch for two days usually. And then I got some of these pizza crusts that come with the sauce, and then that way Olivia can make herself a pizza. And just not put cheese on it. Um, these paper towels and these paper bowls are for Olivia. She has decided that in a way that she can spread her wings and find independence yet not be too far away from me <laughs> because I don't want her to be too far away from me. She is going to spend the summer living in our camper. 
So she's slowly putting things in there that she needs so she can basically live in there all summer. So these paper towels and these bowls are for her. And then the last thing we picked up at Aldi, they had their garden statuary and we thought this little gnome was so cute and he was only $4.99. So we picked him up and he's made out of resin and he's just adorable. And that is everything I picked up at Aldi. So that is my end of April grocery haul. Like I said, it wasn't as big as the last one, but I'm kind of glad. Finally got out of the grocery store with less than $300 at Walmart for a change. <laughs> that was nice. Um, and this is my lip color that I got. You guys let me know. I still haven't decided if I love it or not. It's okay. It's a little darker than I normally wear, so... I guess that's what's kind of throwing me a little bit. But let me know if you like it. If I don't like it and if you guys don't like it, I'll give it to Olivia. So anyway, friends, thanks a lot for watching. And we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.